Brazil and South Africa, it's unemployed. So that means South African children are experiencing probably a worse situation than foreign nationals. And I'm not saying that we don't have to really look after foreign nationals. But what about to South African citizens? When we national, our media, everyone is talking about foreign nationals. What about us as South Africans? We've got a constitution adopted in 1996 with a bill of rights. What about the rights of South Africans? So fellow South Africans, we are not going to apologize to anyone about demanding us as South Africans being recognized as the first citizens of this country. We are not going to apologize to anyone about it. We are going to intensify our efforts to reclaim these cities. These hijacked buildings, these abandoned buildings, let me tell you, we are going to have even bigger units to ensure that all the hijacked buildings are reclaimed, given to the private sector to build affordable accommodation for you, and you must live with safety. We are, we are not going to apologize about it. I'm, I'm want to make it clear. Let South Africa know that all the cities that are hijacked and houses that are hijacked, and they are no longer today only in the cities. They are already taking our people's houses even in the, in the villages. Us as a city of Johannesburg, give us the mandate, the 27th of October. I can tell you, I want to take the first council meeting. I want to take a report that you cannot run business in Johannesburg when you are not, if you don't have South African ID, if you are not registered with South African Revenue Services, when you don't employ South Africans. Is it uh, an unfair question? Is it being xenophobic? No. 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 no! If it means being xenophobic, then let it be.
um, t- two tires that were burning, but it seems that the police have put them off at this stage. And in fact, there's a conversation that's happening at this very moment with the South African Police Service and some of the community leaders. I want to catch up with some of those community leaders to find out what's happening. Thank you for joining us at ENC. But we're seeing um, community members gathering here. What is this about? Uh, today is all about a uh, joint operation with the police because we had an agreement that today they will be here to get into other places where foreign nationals and drug gangs, drug dealers, you know, are residing so that we can be able to arrest those people and uh, put them where they belong. That was the operation all about. Okay, are you working with the police? Because we're seeing um, a lot of shambox, a lot of knob carries with community members. Are you work? Is it a joint operation with the police just to get a better understanding? And you've been removing um, illegal foreign nationals? No, actually, our our deadline was today. We have made it sure we met with brigadiers and uh, other stakeholders prior to this day, so that this day uh, must be, you know, the operation on itself jointly but now they are feeling us because today they are not here so community decided that no you know it's time to get these things so that we can be able to do it ourselves okay i want to bring in zandila zandila what exactly um will you be doing today i understand you're one of the community leaders um yes so what basically we'll be doing today we'll be um actually chanting through down the road to actually just try and demonstrate because we sent out letters as um uh informing the illegal traders in Johannesburg because currently at the moment us as bona fides of South Africa we, we basically have nothing because they have taken everything they've taken businesses they've, they've been employed here so we just want to demonstrate that can they just please leave South Africa peacefully so let them be documented we we not the xenophobic or anything but can they also um, adhere to the rules and regulations of South Africa because everything that's happening around here is illegally so for my iPad. Somebody stole my iPad. <laughs> huh? Somebody decided that they want to dispossess me of my iPad. So I want that. Can I have my iPad, please? So they stole it. Hmm? I had my iPad. So where did do you know where they took my iPad to? <laughs> this is the problem of always handing out your gadgets to other people. It's always best that I should keep all these things with me all the time. I had my iPad. had it in my hand. It's gone. They've lost it, it seems. Should I sit down? Okay. 